So today we are going to be working on mounting back the teal plate, the tile plate. Um, and in that picture, this is what my frame was welding up. This is a little um, adapter, flange to V-band. I mean, we're just basically testing it to see how well it will come out. It works, no leak, so might as well run it, right? So just got to take this off. Put that back on and then bolt up the adapter. This is what a black off place looks like. Just a plug that sits inside and on that flange and just basically do a leak, leak free seal. So these are the pieces that are up to the exhaust. Uh, that's just the adapter flange and that goes underneath the bottom of the actual pan. So now we just got to figure out how to get this in here. Something like that and figure out if I need to shorten it or what because I hit the slave cylinder right there so bolt that flange on we may have to shorten this as in this section and bring it a little bit in the downpipe is basically mocked up now we're just gonna do the last bottom section so it's pretty good pretty elaborate so it goes through there come around get space for the wastegate and this is what's gonna happen right here we're gonna basically cut this up a little bit shorten it but more or less it's gonna be like this something like that granted it won't be that long but I'm just gonna cut it down and then that should be it so now I'm just gonna start taking apart everything else and go from there so this is basically on now I'm just gonna take apart the wastegate just to basically see what springs inside and <coughs> Start fitting up everything. No, no. <laughs> so we gotta switch all the ports. Since we're using the back, we have to take this port out and start switching everything over. red spring so I'm just gonna check the site to see what PSI that is and then go from there okay so this is a 38 mil and this one is a 40 so I just checked to see what spring was in the second one this one comes up as a white slash copper one I don't know it's not even on the chart that I looked at so I'm just gonna put this back in and just Continue with that one. That one has a five pound spring, so at least I could always, you know, mess with that, bring it to ten. But this one, if anything, I just buy like the ten pound spring, which is a black spring. So I might have to go that route. But if not, um, I'll see if that could work using the five pound spring and just run with that. So this is the little exhaust we tacked up. So, well, I tacked up those. My friend's gonna clean it up and try to basically I guess hammer those in a little bit before he starts welding more to fill in that gap but more or less it's coming together so in order to finish up the exhaust just give a little brief preview of it so let's go right down there to finish the rest of it I have to get the dry shaft in so I could see more or less where everything is lined up so then I could just start, you know, figure out what pipes I need to buy. So right now, I will be installing the dry shaft. So, that's the dry shaft, the first half. And I'm working on the second. I'm working on the back section right now. So I'm gonna try to show you, I'm gonna try to show you that install. So basically, I'm just tightening everything up right now. Once this is done, I'm gonna move on to the measuring up for the front. As you can see, the exhaust will be coming right here. So it has pretty good space. So I'm gonna see if I can fit a full three inch, or if I have to go switch to a oval, which most likely I will to clear right here. This is gonna be the lowest point, which I didn't really, so I might have to put an oval in here and come out through, and come out through the back. And the next problem is, 
how am I gonna cross it over? And then once it's, once the exhaust once the exhaust runs all the way down here, I have to figure out how I want it because obviously it has to exit over that side. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna run that. But yeah, that's the last little problem I'm working on for the exhaust board. So everything's bolted up. No drive shaft. And I'm just gonna try to measure up where that's where the exhaust is gonna go. So just a rough idea. Things in a standard three inch. So I can go about right here. So that should be fine. Okay, so more or less it'll everything will run around along this pocket. And I guess right here is where I have to go to the, the oval. So, yeah, drive shaft is up. More or less, we got an idea of how we're gonna run it. So, usually just buy parts and wait. So maybe next week we'll be doing the exhaust. So, everybody knows, when you're up north, winter hits, everything shuts down. So right now, this is the final view of this car until spring. Most of the ex exhaust is right there. Still haven't finished it up. Um, just haven't had time, honestly. So she starts driving. I'm gonna drive her out. Maybe one quick spin around the block, and then just put it up. That's that's it for today. Uh, came a long way. So if everything goes well, yeah, it's almost like. <laughs> of course, it's a hot mess in here. I just do everything in there. Ugh. Well, it ain't gonna happen, so I'm just gonna turn it in and stop killing it. Still running like crap, so she down for the year. Hopefully, next 2021 brings a lot more pleasantry. But yeah, that's it for this year, guys. So this is it for the summer. Summer's over. You just parked up, rest. So hopefully next year brings lots of good luck and good fortune, not as much issues. So I can actually get her. She's drivable in a basic way, as in she moves. She ain't tuned, she ain't none of that extra stuff, but it's enough just to get it back and forth from the backyard to the front yard. But now that that's done, it's gonna start saving up, get the rest of the money for the parts I need, and be ready for next year. She is just wrapped up, waiting for next year. I live inside my own world of make believe.